What is up, everyone? Uh, Retro Lizard back here with another mod. I'm sorry, not another mod. This isn't a mod. This is a build. This is a full size arcade light gun build utilizing gun for IR rumble guns. That's what we got going on here. This is a House of the Dead replica, man. Uh, this thing is gorgeous. Uh, let's take a look at the front of this. Take a look at the marquee. And then we will take a look right here. Let's bring this down. Look at how crisp that panel came out. And then you got the front of the cab, which just had the original House of Dead logo on it also. And then we have on the side, the House of the Dead artwork how gorgeous is that let's pull this out don't mind my mess of my garage but look and how gorgeous this side artwork came out absolutely gorgeous guys absolutely gorgeous so this cab again is a full size 32 inch light gun only this has uh, 159, I'm sorry, that went for 159, 189 light gun only games on it. And that is including the new House of the Dead remake with Thank You Mystery Encoder, the Mystery Encoder two player patch. So you can actually use your light guns on this arcade. How dope is that, right? Or on that game, I mean, how dope is that? So this has my standard usual categories. It's got Model 3, it's got Naomi, PlayStation, PS2, Super Nintendo, the Techno Parrot games, Window versions, American Laser, uh, Standard Arcade, which is also MAME if you don't know that, uh, the Light Gun Only category, which is all the Light Gun games on the system, and we're at 189. Uh, Xbox, which also has um, a new extra game inside it, we have Silent Scope 2. Uh, which now works with the gun for IR. Thank you, Raymond Day, for that. Um, <clears throat> and we have NES, Nintendo Wii games, uh, the Atomus Wave. Somebody, some people call it Atmos Wave. I call it Atomus Wave. Sega Genesis, Sega Hikaru, Sega Master System, the Model Two, and the Model Three. Um, so yeah. So why don't we show a little montage of some House of Dead games, of all the House of Dead games on the system, actually. So enjoy this part of the video. what you think of that uh if you're curious who did that song that is Meshuggah Meshuggah is a badass motherfucking heavy metal band fucking love Meshuggah and that song was called Future Breed Mayhem Remix um I thought it would be perfect to fucking play the House of Dead games uh and montage it to that beginning intro to that song which is about a minute and 30 seconds long before the guy starts screaming his face off which is also a great part of the song too um that's it guys I did these graphics. Uh, these graphics were done by me. This is a Game Room Solutions full-size cabinet. Um, so, you know, if you order a cabinet from them, I already seen like three people has his graphics already. 
um, which, you know, I told him that I did it. Thank you for giving me the kudos for drafting the graphics. Mr. Prophet did the instruction panel on this, which is nice and crisp. I was struggling with the instruction panel, just like the virtual cop one to get the squares in. And uh, he and I reached out to him and he hooked me up. So shout out to Mr. Prophet for doing the instruction panel on this and making this thing crisp as hell. Um, this is this is like a key part of this arcade right here to make the artwork and the graphics gorgeous and just to bring it back to that original replica feel that the customer wanted. Um, this customer is the same customer who got the Mortal Kombat replica, the OG Mortal Kombat replica uh, with the Batasera 8600 games inside it. Uh, he is coming to pick this thing up tomorrow. This thing is ready to go. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much guys for your support. Let's talk about the buttons real quick. Let me bring this down. Let's talk about the buttons real quick here. In the main menu, uh, the player one start button is your enter button, which will take you in and will start a game. Um, the coin button for player one is your back button. Your coin player two coin button right here is your up button. Uh, and this one is your down button. I'm sorry, let's reverse that. <coughs> this coin button is your down button. And this player two button is your up button. And then this button is your dedicated exit button for all emulators. Um, the only emulators that this does not work with because it's utilizing Joy to Key is Model 3. You need the keyboard for Joy to Key for that to work and also um, House of the Dead 3 you need the keyboard to start the game and exit the game also. Um, that is a game glitch. It does not work with Joy to Key. <coughs> I don't know why. Uh, I think I'm going to start using eye packs on my next ones too so that we are tricking the system and wiring up like it is a keyboard controller instead of using the zero delays on this. A little bit extra work, a little bit extra cost to get that eye pack in there, but either way, all good stuff no matter what, guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for checking this video out. Um, and stay tuned for more. I have more coming up. Let's take a look at what I got going on around here. <coughs> I have this Buffalo Sabre shooter coming up. We have the pinball machine over there. We have the planet dog over here. We have the Terminator in the corner and then we have the main one. And then we have in the box over there, we have an aliens, which is gonna be a tribute to Brad D. And then we have House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn shooter cab in that box over there too coming out. And then I also have the Guitar Hero cab, which is also coming out of the box very, very soon too for the release date next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support as always. Stay tuned for more videos, guys.